This video will guide you through the setup and operation of a USA-made Detecto 6550 fold-up portable wheelchair scale. This sturdy but lightweight unit is exceptionally easy to handle and a snap to set up. It comes fully assembled except for attaching the digital weight indicator. Before opening, ensure the carton is placed flat with the top side up. The carton contains delicate instruments and must be handled with care. To open, lift the top off and set it aside. Save the carton until you are certain the scale functions properly, approximately two or three weeks. One very important precaution at this point, be sure that the storage pin holding the column to the scale base is in place and has not slipped out during transit. If the pin has slipped out, replace it before lifting the scale. As demonstrated here, the pin will prevent the scale's heavy base from falling and causing injury or damage even if the scale's regular latch mechanism is not in place. With the scale safely standing upright, you are now ready to attach the weight indicator, which you will find in the small box that is packed in the carton. Carefully open the box and remove the indicator. Be sure to save all reference material, including the indicator's operation manual. The 6550 is equipped with Detecto's MedView indicator, which features body mass index calculation, an easy-to-read bright blue display, alphanumeric keypad, and is EMR EHR ready. The MedView comes with a 350-degree swivel mounting bracket and is powered by six AA batteries or an optional AC adapter. To install the batteries, simply remove the battery compartment cover on the back of the indicator, insert six AA batteries, and replace the cover. Before attaching the indicator to the scale, you must first lay the entire scale unit down and raise the column as shown. Place the indicator into the ball socket mount on the top of the column and hand tighten it in an upright position. This mount is capable of swiveling 350 degrees for maximum visibility. Attach the cable from the column to the connector on the back of the indicator, securing it with the two screws on the connector. The scale's load cells are now connected to the indicator. Please note that when the column is in its upright position, a laminated card hangs from the handle for easy operator reference. Please pay careful attention to warning labels and always refer to the operator's manual when in doubt. Before operating the scale, remove the protective plastic from the indicator's keypad. Turn the scale on by pressing the red and white on-off key. In order to get a patient's weight without the weight of the wheelchair, use the tear function. If you know the weight of the wheelchair, simply enter it on the keypad and select to tear that weight. If the weight of the wheelchair is not known, it may be subtracted by placing the empty wheelchair on the scale and pressing the yellow zero key. The 6550 can display weight in either pounds or kilograms and is selectable by simply pressing the yellow unit switching key. The 6550 features body mass index calculation, or BMI, which has been shown to be an accurate estimate of health risk when used as part of a comprehensive health assessment. If the indicator has been configured to recall stored IDs, simply press the ID height key and enter the new ID name to store the data to. The ID may be up to 14 alphanumeric digits long. For this example, we have entered MV0501. 2013. If the indicator has not been configured to recall stored IDs, the display will ask for height instead of prompting for an ID. BMI is automatically calculated upon entering the height of the patient. To ready for transport, release the column and gently lower it to the base. Be sure to insert the storage pin to lock the column in place. The 6550 is equipped with dual wheels that are capable of movement in two directions for extremely easy transport. The scale may be pushed forward down a hall, pulled backwards onto an elevator, or rolled sideways into tight or narrow spaces. The scale should always be stored in a secured, upright position, preferably near a wall for maximum safety and protection against damage.